Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. I'm Nigel Croft and it is Tuesday the 27th of June. In this short video, we'll be looking at the charts on the price of gold. What we'll see is that the medium term uptrend remains in place. However, the moving averages are tracking down and look like they may push the gold price lower. So here we have the daily on the gold and each candle represents one day's trade. You can see that the pattern of lower, sorry, higher lows and higher highs, the uptrend, um, the high on um, the 6th of June was higher than the high on 17th of April. So the uptrend remained in place. Uh, so that's a positive. However, the moving averages, as you can see, the yellow, the blue and the, the red, the 20, 50 and 200 day are all tracking downwards and are all a negative influence on this market. You can also see that the RSI is in a downtrend. It um, is also back below 50. Um, potentially you could say we've had a non-confirmation on the spike lower yesterday in that the RSI wasn't as low. Let's keep an eye on that at the moment. Um, I'm just kind of ignoring it at the moment, keeping an eye, but we are below 50. Um, a move down towards this 200 day would push that lower. And the MACD, another momentum indicator, um, is still negative. On the weekly, um, so now each candle represents one week, you can see that the 50 week moving average is tracking down and is at the market level, as is the 20 week. Quite often when you get uh, the spots and the moving averages all converging on one point, you do get quite an explosive move in, a direct, in any direction once it breaks away from there. Again, on this index, there's key support at the 200 week moving average, which is at 1233. Um, here you can see it's a triangulation pattern that we're, we're looking at, and it could actually el elongate further. Um, the lower boundary at the moment is probably going to be round about uh, there, about 1215-ish. Uh, the RSI on this weekly is actually not showing as a great deal. It, it's just range trading and is presently just at 50.75. And the MACD also indicating lack of either upside or downside momentum as they flat line just above the zero. On the four hour chart, and here the 50 week and the 20 week, sorry, the 54 hour and the 24 hour are moving down at the present uh, index level. Again, negative influence. On this four hour, you can see the big move that we had yesterday morning. Apparently, that was a fat finger trade, which is why we've had the, the move back up. Um, so, really, you can. You can say that we're marginally lower than we were yesterday, ignoring the, the bad trade that happened. Uh, however, we are up against the resistance of these downtrending moving averages. And really, one would expect the downside um, to, to, uh, to continue. If this uh, gold was to get above the 12.58, that's the, the rise in 200 for hour. That could give a push higher, but at the moment, I'm not expecting that, given that the, the 54 hour does seem to be the uh, dominant influence. RSI, uh, again, not really showing as much. It's at 51.37. Let's see what happens over the next few hours on that. And the MACD uh, are both together and flatlining at zero. So looking at the support resistance levels on gold, uh, there's resistance at 1256.51 at the 50 day, then at 62.86 the 20 day, with support coming in 36.79, which is the 200 day, and at 1220. 
So that's been TA for traders, having a look at the gold price. Just to clarify the key points from the video, it remains in a medium term uptrend. However, the MAV look negative. Uh, that's the moving averages. And sorry, U stroke TR was uptrend. Uh, downside, uh, there is downside momentum and it looks like key supports may be tested. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. Please remember that these videos are not investment recommendations. I'm doing them for educational purposes only, and uh, they're my own opinions. Please do read the disclaimer. Thank you.